This instructional video is designed to show you how to determine what happens to the orbitals of an atom when it undergoes a particular type of hybridization. In this case, we'll be looking at sulfur atom undergoing sp2 hybridization. And in order to do this, you must start with a proper electron configuration. Once we have that, we can use it to write out the before picture, where we show 3s with 1, 2, and our 3p with 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons. Now, uh, the next step then is the selection phase. And in order to make the selection, we're going to take the s. And we need two of our p orbitals. So I'll take these two. And we're going to combine to make our sp2 hybrids. Now because we captured one, two, three orbitals, we'll have three brand new hybrids. We have one of our three p's that we did nothing to, so we'll just draw that over. And then in order to determine what we're going to do to fill this in, we have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And that completes our after picture. Now, it is completely possible to have selected these two for our 3P. And that would have left us with uh, two orbitals here that are available for bonding instead of one here and one here. But the point of hybridization is to select orbitals in a way that allows you to be able to have as much flexibility in your bonding scheme as possible.